by Scott Orlam of Cinema Magazine. The new film is called Dr. Sleep. And the star of the film, I don't want to say the antagonist, but sh be prepared for Rebecca <laughs> Ferguson. I was wondering, growing up, what was your relationship to The Shining? Did you ever see it? I did. I saw it when I was 14 years old. I was never drawn to the scary films at all. Um, and I fell asleep at the scene of the maze at the end because I think I was so tense and scared and... Well, yeah. Talk about the creation of Rose the Hat because there's something incredibly alluring about her, but yet, after watching the movie, there's a dangerous element to her. Yes, there is. She, um, she's about 700 years old. She's lived through depression, every war imaginative to mankind. Um, and she's now the leader of her little flock. And she needs to feed them. She needs to s uh, protect. She needs to love and care. Basically, she is a mother for her group of people. And that, I think, is, is the beauty of her. Um, and I think also she uses her beauty and her magnetism and her alluringness to, to, to basically get the food closer. Is that what you're doing now? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yes. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Let's have a little fun, a leap of faith. Yes. If you could suck the life force oh, out of somebody that it's either you've met or been around or admire to go into your soul, to enhance your you know, walk of life, who would you want to have? Really? <laughs> Are you really, really going down that road? Um, well, I'm going to skip politics. Um, who would I suck? No, and, and it could be in a positive way, that they have a great life force, that there's something creative and enduring about, endearing about them, that, God, that would be cool to have that essence inside me. Do you know what? I would have a little bit of Kylie in me. But I don't want to kill her off because she's so wonderful. But Kylie is such a force of nature. This actress, she is, I don't know where she's going to go. She is born in my head on a stage. She has musicality, she has depth. And then all of a sudden she just throws it on and you're acting against an old, you know, stage actor or something. I don't know what she is. A bit of that. You know, it's fascinating to me watching stories like this because it's almost seems that maybe for Stephen King they're seeped in mythology. Mm. Or maybe something that he grew up with and how he's turned them into these type of stories. So for you growing that up... That should be answer him, obviously. <laughs> I want a bit of Stephen King in me. That's what it should have been, because I've been thinking the same thing. The depth of his stories, the shades, the nuances, the history. Um, and this is all what we kind of depict and we dissect when we talk about all of these characters. You can't go too deep, you know? But growing up in Sweden, what were the mythological stories that kind of invaded your imagination? We have goblins and trolls and sagas and the fairies and, and Pippi Longstocking, you know? Astrid Lindgren, all of that. And I love to, an actors, I remember Meryl Streep was talking about one of the first things she does is what wig she's going to wear helps define her as the character. Yep. How specific was the hat? Did you go through various choices? Oh gosh, yes. The hat was what kind of, as soon as the hat was on, I did a little flick and, and I was in her. But hair, makeup, you know, the transition from me into the necessity of her is, is everything for me. And also, I have little tokens, little memories in my hair as Rose, and it's from every victim that I've killed. Uh, things that we don't talk about, but I know. And if you saw it again, you would see little buttons that you would recognize. The last question for you, Rebecca. There's a little Peter Pan moment that you kind of get to have where you get to fly. Yeah. So I don't know if you were harnessed up, how they did it technologically, but how surreal was the moments like that? It was very important to the story that it wasn't made in an um, um, animated way because this is her way of transporting. And also what is important to, to know is she's actually on in another place meditating. So it's, it's playing different characters throughout all of it. Um, but I love a little bit of flying. Who doesn't, you know? <laughs> You did it really well. Thank you. Rebecca Ferguson, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank the film so is much. Dr. Sleep, and this is Scott Orland. Till next time.